Hey coaches, what's going on? It is Coach Tim here and welcome to the Beast Out You podcast where we talk about all things youth football for coaches who want to win more games, score more points, and be the best team in their league. So I have a really good one for you today, guys. We're going to talk about naming your team. This is a very fun one. I actually get a ton of coaches asking me, especially coaches who are just new to the youth football game. You know, coach, how do I name you know, my team, I'm stuck. I, I, you know, I got a brain fart, you know, how, how do I do it? And I got a lot of experience with this because I feel like I'm the master of branding, uh, teams. I love doing it. It's something that, um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of. So, um, the first thing you want to do when you are naming your team is number one, you want to see, you, you really want to have clarity on, on your location. And do you want your team to represent the high school or the neighborhood that you're in? Okay. So for example, uh, last year, my team was the Ironman because the high school team is the Ironman, right? So, and it's a long football legacy with that Ironman name. So it just made sense to name my youth football team after the high school. And you may want to do that even if like it's a middle school or it's going to be advantageous for you. If like if you if you're in a community where the high school is really good, br just brand your team according to that high school if it's available. OK, number two. And this is my favorite, guys. What I do is I truly like to be creative and imaginative of what's the ideal team I want, how I want it to look, what's the color scheme I want them to have. Um, I remember being a kid growing up and um, the team I wanted was the Holt Warriors, right? The Holt Warriors. And what I decided to do was, as I you know, started coaching, um, I ended up starting a team called the East Side Warriors. I just fell in love with the Warriors uh, name. And you know, we, we worked on our color scheme, um, we was looking at yellow and black and then I decided to do something a little different um, because a lot of teams in my league was wearing black at the time. I said, we're going to go black and blue. I mean, excuse me, yellow and blue. And it was a hit. You know, a lot of a lot of kids wanted to play for my program just because our jersey colors was different from any other team in the area. We were very unique. Um, I kind of branded us as a team that's almost like an all-star team, a regional team. So, you know, East Side represents the East Side of the county that we in. So we was recruiting kids, you know, and attracting kids more so than recruiting, but attracting kids um, from all over the East Side of town, and that just gave us a big advantage. Um, on reaching kids and, and also people like to be around something that's new and fresh and so we attracted a lot of people who wanted to donate sponsor us we had we got cleats donated to us I mean a whole thing of cleats donated to us um, we got water Gatorade all that good stuff donated to our program just because we was different and we represented not just a community so think about that guys Instead of just representing a community, maybe you want to represent a region or a city, right? Um, that That's going to help you big time. It's just going to give you more range and be able to pull and influence more people in, in an area. Um, and again, when you are coming up like a, with a mascot name, come up with something really cool. Kids like cool stuff. Like my kids love the Warriors, right? I like... You know, I'm here in the South in Tuscaloosa. We get a lot of tornadoes. So I see a lot of teams that will name themselves tornadoes, you know, or cyclones, you know, and it's nothing wrong with that. That is absolutely cool to do. So, you know, that that would be my recommendation. And then number three, guys, what you can do is if there's some and this is a way to make money as well, guys, for your program. If there's a cause that you want to sponsor, right, if there's a um a need, a boys and girls club, or if, if there's a, a, a community uh, calls, you can start a team to represent that. N team names like the volunteers, um, you know, ring a bell. You can name your team the, the, the volunteers, or um, I can't come up with something off the top of my head right now, but the volunteers is, is a big one, right? 
So I like me, I would love to have my start a team called the Volunteers. Or here's another one, um, the 49ers in my area, or the Miners, because, you know, where I stay, um, there's a lot of coal mines in the area. So starting a team um, to represent businesses would be amazing. You'd be surprised at how much money you can generate for your program if you say, okay, we got a lot of coal mines in the area. So let me, you know, name my team the miners. If there's a lot of manufacturing places, you know, maybe the Packers, for example, right? So you can do a lot of things, guys, to to really be creative um, with what you do as a youth football coach. Um, the last thing, you know, and I, and I, this is this is just the last thing I'll, I'll say on this is if. And this is like a what not to do, okay? You don't want to have a team that's like mimicking another team. Like if there's a team in the area that's called the the Eagles, don't don't become the Eagles as well. Don't become the Golden Eagles or something like that. Be different. Be unique. People people like different. People like uniqueness, and so strive that way, guys. So um, again. I wanted this video to be short and sweet. I hope this helped. If it did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, guys, be great, have fun, and be stout. Peace.